back again. So uh, the pie that I'm going to make tonight, I'm going to call it the Nutty Peanut Butter Pie. Um, and it has a base, the filling, and then a topping is whipped cream with some crumbles on top. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a crumb base. And I'm going to be using a packet of some crushed biscuits. So I'm just using... In New Zealand, we have these biscuits called milk arrowroot, and they're just like a plain sort of hard vanilla biscuit, and you just crush it up. So whatever the equivalent might be in your country, maybe it's like a graham cracker or something like that. So that's what I'm just going to crush those up first, and mix that with a little bit of cocoa, teeny pinch of cinnamon, and some melted butter, and... Um, then I need to bake that for 10 minutes. So I'll just turn the camera around and you'll be able to see me do that. Right, so I'm just going to be noisy. I'm just going to crush up these biscuits. So the recipe calls for one and a half cups of crumbs. So I've got about just over half a packet and I'm hoping that that's going to be enough crumbs. Now I've lost the bit that goes in the top of the reprocessor. Okay, so I've whizzed this up, and now I'm just going to measure it out to see if I've got one and a half cups. And I'm just going to get all right. So let's just measure this. Right, so that's a half. It's just under a half. Oh, I think it might be perfect. I didn't think I would need a whole packet. Great. Okay. So to that, I'm just going to add a little wee bit of cinnamon. Just a little hint of cinnamon. That's probably like about an eighth of a teaspoon. And it goes. And then I'm going to add, so this is going to make up the crust. And I'm just going to add a little bit of cocoa powder. And I find this brand is a really nice brand. Now the crust recipe that I'm using for this um, actually is from a cheesecake recipe that I love it when I'm going through my cookbooks and I find um, different recipes that I've gathered from friends over the years. And it always just makes cooking so much more fun. So I'm probably only going to add about two teaspoons of cocoa to those crumbs. And I'm also going to add just a little pinch of pink Himalayan salt. So I'll just mix those dry ingredients together. And then I've got some butter here, and I need to weigh out 60 grams of butter and melt it. So I just, I'll just tear my scale and add in 60 grams of butter. which would probably be about 60 grams. Okay, so to a 500 gram block of butter, that's equivalent to four sticks of butter in America. So each stick is 125 grams. So it's about just over half a stick if you were making this recipe in America. So now I'm just gonna go and melt this butter on the stove. And we also need to add in a third of a cup of icing sugar. I'll just scoop that out of my big jar. Mix it in there. So, so far we've got the eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of cocoa, one and a half cups of crushed biscuits, 
and we're going to add in 60 grams of melted butter. Okay, so our butter's melted. I'm just pouring that in. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the reason why I'm making this pie. Um, we have some very dear friends coming to stay with us tomorrow. Um, sadly only for one night, but we're even just thankful that they can come for one night. And they've travelled all the way from America, actually from Arkansas. And we first met them years ago when they came as young missionary, young missionary couple to New Zealand. And that's how we first ever heard the gospel. So they have a very dear place in our hearts. So we're so excited. And they know that um, they love peanut butter. So I, I'm hoping that they're really going to love this pie. So now I've got my a round Pyrex sort of glass baking dish here. And then I've just cut out a circle of baking parchment paper. And I'm just going to tip those crumbs put the crumbs into the bowl and press it down. Just ignore that, it's my silly little iPad thing. So I'll just press all those crumbs down and then I'm going to bake this um, in the oven in a 180 degrees oven, degrees Celsius oven for probably just about 10 or 15 minutes. It's pretty heated. So like on the weekend we bought a little um, bench top oven since it seems a waste of power to be firing up the big oven when it's just the two of us. So I've pressed that all in and all around the sides and now I'm just going to pop it into that little oven for 10 or 15 minutes. When I was going through my drawer looking for a cookbook tonight, I found this book that a dear friend from Arkansas had given me um, and it's called Aunt Bee's Maybury Cookbook. So I suppose that's Andy Griffith from the Andy Griffith Show. And I just found it in my drawer with cookbooks, so I need to get it out and have a good look through it. Thank you, Rhonda. And, um, yeah, just try and find something in here. That'll be lovely to cook as well. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is heat two cups of milk on the stove. So I'm just going to turn that on halfway and measure out. I've got a little bit of cream in there because this isn't all fat milk. I'll just pour that into there. And then I need to measure another half a cup to mix the cornstarch and egg yolks. Okay, now into this little bowl, I'm just going to put a quarter of a cup of cornstarch corn flour and one cup of sugar and just a little wee bit of salt a little sprinkle of Himalayan pink salt just mix all that together and we've got our two cups of milk heating on the stove so I better just check that make sure it's not burning oh, yeah. it's getting warm Okay, now this is going to be part of, I'm going to make some crumbles that are going to, a little bit's going to go over the pie base, and a little bit's going to go over the top of the whipped cream at the end. So into here I'm just <clears throat> putting one and a half cups of powdered sugar, icing sugar. And then to that I'm going to add a half a cup of peanut butter. So you want a really nice smooth peanut butter for this <clears throat> and I'm using this brand I really like this brand in New Zealand this is um, Nut Brothers peanut butter so I bought their crunchy before I really 
liked it. Now this is a natural peanut butter. Look how delicious it is. So I'm just going to scoop out a half a cup of that. in there and I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla essence okay. just a wee probably like half a teaspoon and a teeny wee bit of cinnamon again Probably another <clears throat> eighth of a teaspoon. It's a teeny little bit. And I'm just going to whiz all of that up. peanut butter crumbs with a green spoon into the bowl. So then I'm going to sprinkle <clears throat> about half of this over the base of the pie crust that we've made, the cookie crust. Move that a bit, a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just sprinkling that over there. And we'll save that the remaining bit, which is about just over half a cup to sprinkle over the whipped cream. Now also here I have some chocolate chips. I'm just going to sprinkle those over the top of that peanut buttery goodness. And then let's head on back to that milk. Just giving that milk a little whisk. It's got up to temperature now and let's just move on to the next ingredient. Okay, so now we need three eggs and I have these lovely free range eggs that I just got from um, our daughters today. And our little granddaughter Lily, she's the one who's in charge of the chickens and she looks after them, cleans out their <clears throat> chicken coop and gathers the eggs and cleans the eggs and does everything for the chickens. Alrighty, so we just want three yolks. I've got this little separator thing. I've had it for years. It's a little Tupperware gadget. So I'll just pop them in there. I use quite a lot of egg whites in my cooking and I'll be making some um, pancakes for breakfast in the morning that use egg whites. And nothing's going to waste around here. All those big fat eggs, lovely free range eggs. Pop those out of there, out of the way. So I'm just going to whisk up those three egg whites and egg yolks and the half cup milk and I'm going to stir that into that mixture here that we had which was the quarter of a cup of corn flour cornstarch one cup of sugar and a little bit of salt I'll just pour that into there I've got a little wee skinny spatula here I bought these off of Amazon they're just marvellous Just really skinny and great for um, getting all the last remaining bits out of out of the jug. All right, so I'll just try and mix that up so there's no lumps, and then we're going to add, take it over to the hot milk and cook it till it's all lovely and thick. All right, I'll just wipe up that 
bit of a mess I believe there. Okay so we're just going to bring this milk up to a boil and then we're going to um, add in this that egg yolky mixture. I'm just going to try and get the last remaining lumps out of this. And I just wanted to get this final pie done. And I thought, what a great opportunity to make yet another pie. Okay, so our milk's boiling. And now I'm just going to carefully add in this egg and sugar, salt, and cornstarch mixture. Just get that little wee the thing again, there it is. As I pour this in, I'm going to try and whisk it all at once. Okay, so I've just poured that hot um, cooked custard into this bowl. I'm just going to leave it in here just to cool down before I put it into on top of this um, lovely pie that's just sitting here. Vaccine. So this mixture is probably going to take about half an hour to cool off. So while that's cooling off, I'm just going to go and clean up my kitchen and wash my dishes. Be back soon. I've decided it's probably going to cool quicker if I just pour it on. So I'm just going to pour this lovely custody filling just right on top of that <coughs> all those other lovely ingredients. Kind of like a custard. Oh word, it looks so delicious. I tried a little bit on a spoon and it was so decadent and rich. This would be worthy to be <clears throat> for Christmas or um, a birthday or any special occasion, especially if you know that the people like peanut butter. I do, I just love peanut butter. I think I'll leave a little bit in here for myself. There we are, spread all of that on the top. Oh my word, it only just fits. So then what happens next, once this is cold, I'm going to cover the top with whipped cream and then I'm going to sprinkle all those lovely peanut buttery crumbs on top to finish off. Good morning everyone, back again. I was making the pie late last night and I decided it was going to take so long to cool that I just covered it and put it in the fridge and then this morning I'm just going to decorate it and... Um, put the rest of the crumbles on and then we'll cut it and see what it tastes like. See you soon. Okay, so I'm going to pour some cream, some lovely, just regular full fat cream, probably about half and a half. Cream into there and a little bit of vanilla essence. You can see I'm not very exact with my cooking. And then a little bit of icing sugar. That's probably about two teaspoons. Maybe a teeny bit more. And it goes. And I'm just going to whip that up. I'm also making a moussaka at the moment for our lovely guests from Arkansas that are coming to dinner tonight. <clears throat> right, so where's my beaters? So, yeah. so I'm just going to get this clean up and pull it back, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Turn that off. Okay, 
Okay, so here we have the lovely pie, looking so nice, and the custom bits all set. So now I'm just going to spoon all this lovely whipped cream on top of this pie. Maybe I could have used a teeny bit more. You can never have enough cream, in my opinion. I love whipped cream. So I'm just going to spoon that around. And then all the rest of those peanut buttery crumbles just go on the top. Let's sprinkle those over. I just popped the rest of them into a little container last night. So this just gets sprinkled all over the top of it. Of that on. Oh my word, that looks so good. And now let's cut a piece of this gorgeous pie. I'll just get a plate. Now I hope it's going to behave itself. I'll just hold it up so you can see it a bit better, looking all magnificent. And I'll get a little knife and cut piece of pie. Now where did I put that little wee my pie scooper thing? There it is. Okay, now let's hope it's going to behave and it's going to come out. Oh, the crust feels lovely and crunchy. I'll just cut a little bit just because I'm just going to test it. that biscuit base so it's going to be a little bit trickier to get out if I was using a pastry case. Oh not too bad. There we go. Oh my word. Okay so which is its best side? Maybe there? All right. And now get a little spoon and I'm going to try this pie. Let's just move the camera up a bit and let's see what it's like. So we've got the biscuity crumb base with a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of cocoa. Then we had the peanut buttery crumbles and some chocolate chips sprinkled. Now we've got the custard. Then we've got the whipped cream and the peanut butter crumbles on the remaining bit. So now I'm just going to try it. Oh my word. That is probably one of the yummiest things I've ever tasted. Let's just try another little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. My husband just got home and we're going to get him to try it too. Just a minute. Okay, so here's Bruce. He's just got home, so I'm going to give him a bit some of the of this to try. Here you go. <laughs> that looks really yummy. Mm, a bit crumbly. A little bit crumbly on the base. Ah, oh, but it looks good. Mm. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Mm, I'm not sure. I need another piece to yeah, try. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, folks. It's so yummy. <laughs> you taste that little peanut butteriness. Mm -hmm. It's so creamy and delightful. Mm. And that custard is so lovely. And the crunchy base. Mm. So there you go. I think if you try this pie, you're going to really enjoy it and you won't be disappointed. Oh. You won't be disappointed. 
So that's the final pie from me. And thank you once again to Miss Laurie, Miss Vicky, and Miss Tammy for putting this and pie collaboration taster. together. And Bruce and Anne for the taster. Thanks, guys. Bye.